Hello, at the request of some followers this time we will make a rounded form with soft corners and visual basic on Windows forms. Well, as I said in the previous C Sharp tutorial, to create a form with smooth rounded corners you must get the back background color of the form, and draw an outer border with the obtained color, but the back background of the form will not have a single color, as in this case. My desktop is an image of many colors, so it will be necessary to obtain colors from at least the four corners of the form, so that it mixes correctly with the background and thus appear smooth rounded corners. However, for a better result, I recommend getting more colors from the boundaries of the form and thereby drawing a gradient border. Alright, let's start with the tutorial. Here I have already created a Windows Forms project. For now we will not do anything in the design, we simply go to the form code. We define fields for border radius, border size, and border color. In the constructor, we remove the border style from the form, and set a padding equal to the set border size. Now that the form has no border, it lost the title bar, drag, resize functionality and among others, so it will be necessary to re-implement them. I will not do it now, since the objective of the tutorial is to create rounded form. This time I will only add the title bar and the function of dragging the form, and here I already have the necessary code, which also allows you to minimize a form without borders from the taskbar. This is a native operating system method, so it is necessary to import the interop services. Alright, now we subscribe this event method to the forms mouse down event. The form should be left in this way, without borders, draggable and able to minimize from the taskbar. Well, now we will make the form have rounded corners and we will also draw the border with the parameters defined in the fields, for this we define the following private methods. This method allows you to create a rounded graphics path from a set rectangle and radius, the functionality is simple. Here a graphics path object is created, the figure is started, four arcs of 90 degrees are added at the four corners of the rectangle, the figure is finalized, and finally the path is returned. This other method allows to establish a region and rounded border of a form, for this the previous method is necessary. In addition it allows to transform and scale the graphics, that is, the border will be drawn within the limits of the form, many saw in the videos of custom controls, that when drawing the border, this goes out of the limits, that is due to the thickness of the pen. The quick fix was to decrease the structure of the rectangle based on the border size, however that is a limited trivial method. This method removes those limits and allows you to apply a rounded region and draw any border thickness exactly within the bounds of the rectangle. Okay, now we call this method from the paint event of the form.
As parameters we send the form, border radius, the graphics object of the paint event, border color and border size. Great, the border is drawn exactly within the bounds of the form, the rounded region is applied correctly, however the corners of the form do not look smooth and it sticks out, as does the left and top, but here comes the trick, over that space we will draw an outer border of the same color as the back background of the form, for example in this case, draw the border of the same color as the Visual Studio background. That way the outstanding pixelated corners will blend with the Visual Studio background, thus appearing smooth rounded corners. However, as I said in the introduction, the back background color of the form can have many colors, therefore in order to have a good result, we must get at least four colors from the corner boundaries of the form. Ok, we go back to the paint event. Before applying the region and rounded border, we do the following. I will add comments so that it is better understood. Well, optionally we set the smoothing mode. We define a rectangle from the client rectangle of the form. We define the size for the four rounded rectangles that I mentioned earlier, the width will be equal to half the width of the form, in the same way with the height. If you want you can set a smaller size. Very well, let's start by drawing the top left rounded rectangle. To minimize the code, we will create a method that is responsible for making the drawings. As parameters, only for this case we send the dimensions of the entire form, we send the graphics object of the paint event and the red color, since we still do not have the colors of the back background of the form. This method does not exist yet so we generate it. Well now we implement the functionality of the method. Using the using statement. We create a graphics path object from the get rounded path method. Remember that this method returns a rounded path from a rectangle and radius. We create a pen object with the color set in the parameter and with a thickness of 3. Finally, we draw the path with the previous objects. Alright, now we will draw the top right rounded rectangle, define a rectangle with the following parameters and draw the path. We do the same for the bottom left and right. The drawings should be this way, each rounded rectangle is drawn in the four corners of the form, I will comment on the drawing of the border of the form to see better.
In order not to have any inconvenience, the first rectangle should be drawn around the entire border of the form and the rest in the corresponding corners. You can draw smaller rectangles. Alright, now in order for these outer borders of the form to blend into the back background we need to get and set the corresponding color of each corner of the form. Here I already have the necessary code, a structure to store the color of each corner of the limits of the form, and a method that allows to set and obtain these colors. The functionality is simple, you create a size 1 bitmap object, a graphics object to draw on the bitmap, a rectangle to set the coordinates, then take a screenshot on the bitmap using the object graphics with the set parameters, Finally get the pixel color of the bitmap and set the color structure field of the form boundaries. Well, we go back to the paint event and define a local field to obtain and set the colors of the outer limits of the form. Remember that this method returns a structure, so we simply obtain these fields to make the drawings of the rounded rectangles of each corner of the form. Yes, Great, the colors are obtained correctly, however it does not update when the form is moved to another location. To solve the problem we redraw the borders when the form is moved, resized or regains focus. Great, the form blends in nicely with any desktop background color. We redraw the border of the form on the outer borders. Okay, that would be it as far as setting the rounded region smoothing the outer border and drawing the border of the form. Now we will add a container panel to add other dockable controls and hide the rectangles that are drawn on the form. We will also add another panel for the title bar of the form. We set the function of dragging the form from the title bar panel. The rounded corners have lost their smoothness since the container panel fills the entire form and does not fit into the rounded region of the form. On the other hand, 
When moving the form there are white flickers, the quick fix for that is to set the same border color for the background color of the form. The background color, title bar, and border color of the form should always be the same, which also makes it easy to change the color of the form. Ok, the white flickers have been removed, now we will return the smoothness to the rounded corners of the form, for that we must also set a rounded region to the container panel and draw a thin border. We select the container panel and subscribe the paint event. We create a similar method as was done with the form. This is a much simpler method, it has the parameters to receive the control, the radius value, a graphics object and the border color. Alright, so we call this method from the paint event of the container panel. As parameters, we send the container panel, the value of the border radius, in this case we subtract the border size divided by 2, since the form has a padding of the same border size value, then that will make the container panel be smaller. To better understand, I will explain this in the form design. If the border size is 5, then the padding of the form will also be 5, and as you can see the container panel is much smaller, the same happens with other values. Therefore the value of the border radius must be smaller, that is obtained by subtracting the border radius and the border size divided by 2. Well, let's continue. We send the graphics object and the border color. Great, the form has regained the smoothness in the corners. You should do something similar in case you add other docked panels or docked controls. Another thing, if the back background has colors of very different tones the top and left border will be visible, then, as I mentioned in the introduction of the video, for a better result, you can get more colors from the boundaries of the form and draw lines gradient color. Well, you can also add the close, maximize and rest to work button. Add the air snap feature, and resize the form from the borders, although I don't recommend it as it will have a lot of flickering. Well, that's it in this video, I hope you liked it, until next time.